Hey, welcome back again. In this video, we're just going to talk about how to save your screenplay. Now, just to recap, we've gone over fade in, which is starting the screenplay, um, the slug line, the action of the slug line, of, or of the scene, I should say. And then we have dialogue. Um, you're familiar with the parentheticals, too, that go in between this, like, if I want to make him smiling, you know. You know, that's what he's doing while he's saying that. You're familiar with that. Um, you know, we talked about transitions a lot in the last video. So you understand to use them sparingly. Don't, don't overuse them, but use them when you have to. And, of course, we talked about, you know, fade to black right there. And then the end, you know, you, you can do that to, to end it, see? Now, when, of course, this is obviously too short, uh, a real script would be, a full script would be 90 to 120 pages, uh, but this is like barely one page, but I'm just showing you as an example. Now, when we're ready to save a screenplay, what we're going to do is go to File. Now, you want to save as a PDF file because that's it's basically uh, the it's basically a format that's printer friendly uh, i like it i mean you don't have to and we'll get into the other formats uh this one okay it's untitled screenplay i'll just say um screenplay course and then i'll hit save and this is the folder that i already have reserved for it if you want to change the folder you just click there and find the folder you want to save it to and this is telling me PDF, screen, and this is the name of the file, and it's save. All right, now, if you want to open up the file, we can just go to this. You know, I already have the window open for where we saved it, so this will be faster. Okay, this is the file we saved, and here you go. The title. I, I didn't save the title page, so it's going to have the template here, but if you had saved the template, then... This would be different because I know in, in a previous video we changed all this, but I didn't save the title page, so that's why this shows up. But if you, if you change this and save it, then this will change too. And then here you go. We don't have a second page. Now you'll notice, um, you'll notice there's no page number here, or obviously no page number on the title page. Uh, the page numbers usually start after the first page of the screenplay itself. So this is the first page of, of the content, and there's no page number. That means it's page one. And then everything else after that gets a page number automatically, page two. Uh, Final Draft will automatically put these page numbers in the script. You don't have to worry about those. Um, and there you go. That's the PDF file. Now... Now, you're probably wondering, okay, what if I want to save it in another format? Now, we already, hold on. Now, this file right here, this is the final draft file where we can open this and edit. It basically links right to this. You know, if I double-click that, if I double-click this file, then this will show up. And this is where we edit the, the file in final draft. Now, sometimes, especially if you're a ghostwriter and you're working for a client who wants to be able to edit the screenplay later on, let's say, um, you will need to give them another editable file. Uh, not everybody has Final Draft, and you'll need Final Draft to open a FDX file. And if they don't have Final Draft, they won't be able to open that. So if you're ghostwriting for someone and they ask you, okay, you know, I need to be able to edit this, this script, how am I going to do that with just a PDF file? Well, what you can do is go to File, Save As, and then down here, Save As Type, click this drop-down menu, and you'll get a list, uh, a list of options. Um, now, the best one to like edit it in Microsoft Word, for example, Rich text format, RTF. This is what you want to save it as. Um, you know, plain text, 
you could save it like that and open it as a text file, but the problem is it won't be formatted correctly at all. It'll just be in a text file. It'll look ugly. In fact, let's let's see what it looks like just to show you. We'll save that. We'll open that up. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Does this look like does this file look like this? No. This is why you don't save it as a text file. There's no formatting at all. Fade in, it's just a bunch of text with no margins or anything. So you don't want to you don't want to save it as a text file. Um, now let's go back. What you want to do is save it as a RTF file. And then click save. All right, now let's open up the RTF file uh, right here. And look at this. See? Now it's formatted in the Microsoft Word file. You know, it's an RTF file, but you can open it in Microsoft Word. You can also open it in any other Office suite that you may have. It doesn't have to be Microsoft. Because RTF is a rich text format. It's basically a high-end text file where it does keep the formatting. Look, it has the margins. See, as you can see, the margins change. So they're all inside this file for the dialog and everything keeps it and you don't need final draft to open this it's an rtf so pretty much every computer can open an rtf you know if you don't have the software to open it um, there's open office that you can download on the internet it's free it's like a free office suite it's like a it's a low grade version of microsoft office you know it's but it's basically it has similar programs it has a word processing uh, software it has like a different presentation type software like PowerPoint, but it's a little different. It has all those kind of files or uh, all those kind of software. So if you don't have anything to open RTF, uh, Google search open office and you should be able to find it and then download it. Um, so yeah, if you're ghostwriting and your client needs um, an, a file to edit for the screenplay, then there you go, RTF. That's what you want to do. Save this file and then you would send the file to him. And it looks nice, right? It looks just like the PDF file. Okay, now, hold on, I just want to do one more thing. Um, you'll notice that in this RTF file, there is no title page. It, it won't save, when you, when you save this file as an RTF, the title page will not show up in the RTF file. So please keep that in mind. This just shows the, this just saves the content itself and allows them to edit that. That's why I always recommend if you are ghostwriting that you save a PDF and an RTF and give those to your clients just in case so that way they have the title page on the PDF file. But normally they won't have to change that. Or you can just make it yourself. Um, you know, it's not hard to make a title page. It just uh, go to fade in, like put the cursor in front of fade, hold down control, hit enter, and then just go up and hit center. Hold on, center of the margins. Right there, okay. On, hold on, uh, cap lock. On untitled screenplay by, by, pencil, lead. Right? I mean, that's all you really have to do. And then you can put your address and phone number down there, like, the, like in the last one. But, you know, again, you don't have to do this. It's just an extra. Hold on. Ah, we don't want that. Left margin. All right. So, hopefully now you understand how to save RTFs and PDFs. Um, it's pretty straightforward. All right. Um, in the next video, I'm just going to talk about what you can do with your screenplay you know after you write it and you save all the files then what where do you send it who do you show it to you know, what else can you do with it there's a lot of things you can do with it and in that final video which which is coming up next i'm going to go into everything that you can do to send out your screenplay and get some people reading it okay see you on the next one